This is a KGUN 9 Now News Update. Hi there, I'm Mark Charter. It was the first showdown between President Trump and rival Joe Biden. Neither candidate gave a clear plan on how they would want the country to move forward in the pandemic, rather arguing about who could handle it better. When it came to Supreme Court nominee Barrett, Biden, Amy Barrett, Biden argued that it should wait until after the election. The president said he has to, he has the right to move forward with his nomination. The debate, no doubt, stirring political conversations this morning, especially on social media. A U of A professor tells us social media is having a bigger influence on elections than ever before. Although all three debates will be on television, experts say not everybody will be watching firsthand. That's why it's best to focus on the issues impacting our country rather than candidates' mistakes. The deadline to register to vote is Monday, and as with every election, younger voters could play a major role, but first they have to be registered. That's where Pima Youth Vote is stepping up to help boost the numbers by providing videos on how to register to vote and information on rights you have. Arizona also getting some help with fixing up roads and bridges. More than $23 million in emergency federal aid is on its way to Arizona. Department of Transportation will use the funds to repair areas that have been damaged by fires and floods. The funds will reimburse the state for already completed repair work, except for this summer's bushfire, where work is still continuing on damage to a portion of State Route 87. And starting next month, Tucson's to go bike share program will offer free rides on Thursdays. The promotion will grant unlimited 30 minute staycation to or station to station trips only on Thursdays. You can rent a bike by downloading the app or finding a to go station. For more info on the program, go to our website, kega9.com. Tucson has tied the all-time record for the most 100-degree days in a calendar year. More to come, too, folks. We'll see more triple digits as we welcome October, and we'll continue to threaten daily records as we end the week. Hopefully, though, we can get back to those 90s some point next week.